The NDC's determination to frustrate and obstruct government business has today been supported by the Speaker of Parliament, who is the law sovereign of this House, who is the President of the House, and considering the critical numbers, 138 majority group, 137 minority group. This is the time we expect Mr. Speaker to live up to his own bona fide to the people of Ghana, which is to show leadership. I regret to say that we cannot proceed to take decision without Mr. Speaker. We need Mr. Speaker in the house. Yeah. We need the Speaker of Parliament yeah. in the house. Yeah. It should come. Because by the technicalities of our own procedures, if Mr. Speaker is not there, one of our own would have to sit in. And the imperatives of the Constitution are clear that he would therefore not have the opportunity to have his right of voting as a member. We are not in to look at the lacuna in the law, which could also mean that when there is a tie, to the extent that the constitution is silent on his casting vote, he could exercise his casting vote right. We will not go, want to go that path. What we want to insist is that Mr. Speaker must show leadership. In Parliament, leadership is consulted and is engaged. We have no information as to the whereabouts of Mr. Speaker. Yeah. 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 Must come. The leadership of the majority has not been informed of the reasons why Mr. Speaker is unavoidably absent this evening from the Chamber of Parliament. We therefore say that we see this as a grand political partisan design by the minority group to frustrate us. And we don't want to suggest that perhaps Mr. Speaker is unavoidably absent to frustrate government business. We believe in Mr. Speaker. We believe that he stands for government business to go on and to allow this country to be governed by rule of law and due process. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen of the press, through this, we expect Mr. Speaker to be present in the chamber. We have our numbers. We are ready to do government business. But as a majority, we can't be cajoled into pettiness because we see this as a strategy by the minority, as it were, to create a standoff. The Ghanaian people must know that this NDC party does not mean well. They should look for a high road to power. They shouldn't look for out for this means of frustrating us as a short route to come back to power. 